then really easy should be for producers. They must be independent. They have to be European and more than European countries that belong to the media agreement. And finally, be the owners of majority of the rights of the work you want to produce. The eligible works are fiction, animation and documentary. They could be just one-off or could be a complete series. Understanding the total length should be 50 minutes. You have to prove at the time of application you have 50% of the budget in place. And how you prove it? Eligibility, eligibility criteria says that you have to prove you have three channels of three European countries belonging to the media agreement and you have a quite amount of European professionals involved in a scale of points. I can recommend you that in order to be sure you can be selected, depending on a genre, documentary, fiction or animation, you must have four, five or even six channels to have a little bit of chance. How is the involvement of the channels, or as a co-producer, or as a pre-sales? The money is a subsidy, and the final amount could be 12.5% for fiction and animation projects, and 20% for documentaries. In any case, the maximum could be 500,000 euros for animation and fiction, or 300,000 for documentary. The first ceiling is the one, the maximum you can get. Oh yeah, we have that big extra money. That big extra money is for some cases of uh, series, fiction series, uh, of be beyond 10, uh, 10 million euros. In that case, you can try to apply for 1 million euro or 10% of the budget. In this case, it's mandatory to have a co-producer involved that uh, will be playing the role of co-beneficiary of the money of the European Commission. Selection criteria always is based among other things, and I, I have to recommend you, check the guidelines because every time they are ch changing the scale of points in every criteria, but based on the innovative aspect of your project, the quality, the content of your project, the quality of the team as well, uh, could be even extra points if your project is intended for a young audience or if the project is coming for a minor uh, co-production territory and, of course, about the strategy of distribution and marketing. How you get the money paid? In two installments. First one, 60% of the total amount awarded, you're going to be paid within 30 days after you receive the confirmation of the agency that you've been selected. And the remaining 40% it's paid when you are um, uh, sending your final report with your final um, eligible costs. Calendar, which is the time you have uh, to expend those eligible costs involving the project. You're allowed to present eligible costs from six months before the date of application till 24 months after that date if we're talking about one-off uh, project. But if you're talking about series, you have even 36 months. So in total, the umbrella they cover for eligible cost is the 42 months. In cases that you have networks covering different territories, I recommend you to have different contracts. The Commission, the agency, will accept those contracts if they are separated. Let's say that you have in animation Disney, covering Disney Italy and Disney France or Disney Spain. One contract counts as one broadcaster. So if you split it by territories, you're having three different contracts, it's then you get more points. Remember, eligibility criteria, it's three channels. If you have to read, uh, new players like Netflix or platforms, works the same. It's just one contract with counts 
and you have to be sure that you have all territories split it by contracts. This is quite important. Um, media wants to protect the independent producer. So the license period should be seven years maximum for those pre-sales and 10 years for those rights of co-production and pre-sales. And could be tricky because you have to negotiate with every operator in the value chain regarding broadcasters or distributors or anyone else, but it's quite important to keep that in mind, seven years or 10 years. In an ideal world, contracts would be a dream, but it's because it's quite tricky, uh, the commission, the agency, accept letters of commitment. But your letter of commitment of the broadcasters or the distributor must contain the following information. The license period, as we mentioned before, seven or ten years maximum in order to protect the independent producer. Then has to be a very recent letter of commitment, at the most one year. Then the name of the producer and the name of the project and the territories covered by that license could be an asset. Five recommendations of not go. First one, do not give 70% to just one broadcaster. It's the maximum. Below that, it's a not go. Do not calculate the own investment of the producer within the 50% of the money in place. Personal loans or bank guarantees are not accepted. This is quite important. Do not start the production, the, the principal day of photography, before the day of application. And the last one, do not bring any non-European eligible cost to the action. In other words, you can have a Canadian, for example, producer involved, but you cannot bring those costs to the action. Five recommendations. Be clear. Specify the conditions of the agreement, the duties of who's doing what, the conditions of the business plan. Every specific detail helps in the selection process. Better have a distributor. In equal opportunities between two projects, the one who has a distributor or sales agent wins. Use your tax shelter. Whatever it is, if you have full certification of the amount of the tax shelter involved, you can play it. You can use any letters of broadcasters involved that are not addressed to you as a producer, but addressed to the distributor or sales agent. If you have it, the agreement with the distributor, as we mentioned, you can use those letters. And finally, having an ISAN identifier, which is not mandatory at the time of application, but you have to have it in order to mark your audiovisual work. That's all, folks, for now. Fins aquí hem arribat amb les càpsules informatives. We hope this information has been useful for you and you can be a potential candidate for TV programming. I ara us volíem convidar a veure imatges de les quals Media n'està orgullosa de sèries de televisió que han estat recentment apoiades per TV Programming, amb un vídeo del millor de les últimes temporades. And now some images of some works that have been recently selected under TV Programming. So thank you very much and make your day of a networking good. Thank you. Quitaré los poderes y no habrá más travesuras. ces gens Je ne sais pas. I am speaking on behalf of the entire union. Your gas and oil production will be restarted. I say cut off all of Flanders, along with Lille. 
and the large Spanish bases in the east. Rouge. Dieser Leute ist nichts Geringeres als die Zerschlagung unserer Demokratie. Du hast keine Ahnung. O la maternidad o la guerra. No. Ocultar judíos o ayudarlos a huir es un delito. Yo soy Arabic y trabajo con drones de tecnología. ¿Qué tal que ni ni pude ser? Es de trata de ser algo. These came by ship. These came by ship. My shoes probably came by ship. The microphone certainly. All this technology came by ship. The camera came by ship. أول شيء فكرت إنه لو بس المشكلة نطلع البحر. بس هلا طلعت إنه وصلنا ثلاث مشكلة. The more like it's presented as a Hollywood production, the better for them. I always hated the fact that women are objectified in the film industry, and uh, it is a lot more to us than just being pretty and wearing good clothes. We're as sexist as any other industry that you look at around us, and I think the onus on society is to, to change as a society. They say I can only be hinted at and never shown. Imagine that what you see is what I see.